Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm making basma and I am going to show you uh, what you need for it. So for this you will need uh, some beef and I'm going to show you, I actually already prepared all of my ingredients and for the beef pieces you want to actually cut them pretty good size um, and you will marinate them. This will be your first step and then with onions. So um, you will have to get your hands dirty here um, and for this you will actually season it, it with, um, with some salt and some pepper. And you want to do a pretty good amount on it. And then also you will put some um, cumin and it's actually uh, grounded. So this um, dish is an Uzbek dish and um, it's pretty yummy. So you actually, once you um, mix the beef with onion, you want to actually give it a good squeeze to make sure that all of the onion's juices will come through. And from here you will actually let it sit for um, just a few minutes. Um, some will actually marinate a few hours in advance. Um, I don't do that because I don't have much time to do it um, in advance. Usually cook and, um, on the go. So with this you actually just um, go ahead and uh, start layering um, the other ingredients into the, uh, the pan. So with this you will actually lay out, next we'll go potatoes. You actually want to lay them out um, just flat and you're actually cutting them in pretty good chunks. Um, as well. So once potatoes are um, laid out here, you want to actually cover all the meat with the potatoes and lay it out all nicely. After the potatoes are laid out, you want to actually salt it again. You want to make sure you don't over salt it either so you give it a good and then um, from here you will also do your um, carrots next so again you will just um, lay them out pretty over the potatoes after the carrots you will actually put in um, the tomatoes and again you will lay them out covering the carrots and the potatoes. And after the tomato, you want to actually give it a good um, salt seasoning and also some pepper. Kind of repeat what you did the first step as well. And then here you will add also a little bit of cumin. Just the drizzle. And then from there you will actually um, final step is putting all of the cabbage in. So at this point, it actually looks like you have a lot of it, but once you actually um, put it on a stove, it will cook quite a bit in. So you will actually go ahead and put in the salt in here. You wanna give it a good amount as well. And that kind of repeat the rest of the seasoning as well, pepper. And then also some cumin, give it a good a taste here. And then you also want to top it off with some bay leaves. And also you want to top it up with some garlic as well. And then from here, you do not put any oil, you do not put any water. The juices from cabbage will um, give enough water to actually cook itself. And all you do is you put the uh, lid on this and put it on the stove and then um, we'll give it a cook. All right guys, welcome back. So let's take a peek and see how much it cooked in. And so um, it's definitely ready. And so when you wanna scoop it up, you wanna do it from the top all the way to the bottom and you'll actually dish it up. Um, the vegetables will be on um, top and then the meat will be on the bottom. So um, here you are. If you have enjoyed this video, give thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.